Hello, how are you? My name is Yu Chen. Welcome to another video of Printing Matter. Um, today we will be thinking about the practice of Jenny Hauser, an artist who primarily works with language. Um, this is her work in t-shirt form. I got it during an exhibition she had at Printing Matter in 2018 uh, when she launched her publication Belligerent. Um, at that show, there was a variety of t-shirts, postcards, stickers, prints, um, all featuring text by Jenny Hauser from her uh, series Truism, started in the 70s. We still have some of the postcards in stock. I will read them to you. Um, protect me from what I want. Abuse of power comes as no surprise. Raise boys and girls the same way. Men don't protect you anymore. Expiring for love is beautiful but stupid. The beginning of the war will be secret. Words tend to be inadequate. Money creates taste. All things are delicately interconnected. Mm. Um, I think the first thing we register is this authoritative tone in which they speak. This unquestionable certainty like a command or commandment. Um, but at the same time, they also contain such ambiguity as, it, as the lack of context. For example, who's speaking, um, the topics, even though unified in their weight, seems to be scattered. Um, power, money, love, gender, self-identity, each one of them comes to us so singularly, so abruptly, like an arrow coming from out of sight. Um, According to an interview Jenny Hauser did with a magazine called Even, um, this series Truism was informed by a uh, reading list she was immersed in, which was heavy on Marxism, critical theory, um, philosophy. And she thought, here I quote, this material is fascinating, extremely important stuff and 99% of the population never will read it. Therefore, maybe I can read or digest it. So, Jenny Hauser composed these sentences and printed them on white papers. Um, and we pasted them onto the buildings, walls, and fences in and around Manhattan. Uh, she did it at night, as posting was illegal. Um, mm. Following truism, she created another series of texts titled Inflammatory Essay. Each one piece is a paragraph limited to a hundred words. Um, I'll show you some pieces. So, as indicated in the title, inflammatory essay reads more aggressive, more urgent, um, even though together they form a rainbow-like spectacle. Maybe you have seen in museums. Um, I will just read one piece for you. Rejoice, our time are intolerable. Take courage, for the worst, is a harbinger of the best. Only dire circumstance can precipitate the overthrow of oppressors. The old and corrupt must be laid to waste before the just can triumph. Opposition identifies and isolates the enemy. Conflict of interest must be seen for what it is. 
do not support palliative gestures. They confuse the people and delay the inevitable confrontation. Delay is not tolerated, for it jeopardizes the well-being of the majority. Contradiction will be heightened. The reckoning will be hastened by the staging of seed disturbances. The ap apocalypse will blossom. Mm. And these were also disseminated onto the street. Um, when I think of the action of weed pasting, it seems to me there's almost a kinship with graffiti, street art, as they're both uninvited and they both inhabit open um, public space. If we think of a museum or gallery or a bookstore or any institution, actually any interior space of any nature would limit and uh, filter its audiences but the exterior is indiscriminate. Anyone could be exposed to it. Um, the encounter between a street art piece and its viewer is at random, no longer bounded by our diverse occupations, um, backgrounds, taste, and our unfortunately parallel trajectories, even when it's the same city that we navigate. Um, maybe that's the reason why the visual landscape of the public has always been dominated by power, be that political, the red banner of propaganda slogans that permeate my visual memory, or capital, the harshly luminous billboards at Times Square and, and everywhere. Um, therefore, it seems to me, um, under the protection of the night, taking words and images, communicate private feelings and private statements out to the street is a poetic resistance against the violent and invasive visual environment that we're being situated in. Maybe for the same reason, Jenny Holzer had her words printed on t-shirts, um, um, postcards, um, stickers, condoms, things that are small, light, cheap, made to circulate. Um, in that sense, I think Jenny Hauser's practice corresponds to the core of artist book, that is, uh, artwork disguises itself as a everyday object, as an attempt to infiltrate the broad and undefined territories. Um, Jenny Hauser indeed made books. Um, many of them are out of print. These two are lent to me by our director, Max. Um, this one we have one in stock. Um, this one, Eating Through Living, is published by Tenant Press in 1981. This one, Eating Friends, uh, is a takeover issue of the periodical Top Stories, also published in 1981. They are different edit of the same body of work um, that's titled Living, in collaboration with Peter Nadim, who made the drawings um, more abstract in this case. Mm. So, I will read a few paragraphs for you. Um, more than once I've wakened with tears running down my cheeks. I have had to think whether I was crying or whether it was involuntary, like drooling. You should limit the number of times you act against your nature, like sleeping with people you hate. It's interesting to test your capability for a while, but too much will cause damage. When someone is breathing on you, you feel cool air pull across your skin, 
followed by moist warm air pushed in the opposite direction. This goes on at regular intervals and makes for a perfect temperature. It makes a difference who you are intimate with, who you are dependent upon. Friends will only tolerate or support certain actions, and this influences what you believe to be possible or desirable. Mm. So, um, compared to the general truths of truism and the highly political content of inflammatory essay, this serious living addresses the events of everyday life, breathing, sleeping, eating, and uh, relationships. Um, but they don't read any softer. They read just as cruel. I think it might be true that power dynamic is everywhere, even in the most intimate sphere. Just as um, the abuse and overreach of state power can perversely be experienced as personal and bodily. Mm. The last uh, Jenny Hauser's project in book form that I want to show you is in this magazine. Um, this is South German newspaper, the largest newspaper of Germany. And this is one of the Sunday issue published in 1993. I will show you some pages first. It's really soft and delicate. We have a couple copies in stock. Title is Last Month. Last month translates to sexual murder. It sheds a light on the systematic rape of women during Bosnian War. Um, and the text is uh, constituted with three poems from three different perspectives. The victim, the perpetrator, and the witness. So the um, identity of the narrator shifts constantly and the narrative fragmented. In German and English, in blue, black and red ink, um, human skin. Mm. I think there are words I'd rather not to say, but they exist. And I think it's more important for our words to be truthful than beautiful. So I say, with cautiousness and sometimes with pain. And I wonder if Jenny Hauser felt the same way when operating materials as such. Um, it's hard to look at them but it's hard to look away as well. The close-up photograph, the texture of the skin, the handwriting, the full bleed, these pages communicate such visceral sensitivity that is speaking to my skin, to my body, in nonverbal languages, while the verbal languages um, telling and failing this unspeakable story without coherence. You see it's working us on multiple dimensions, the broken timeline, the plural voices, the, um, the surface where the words reside and the color and shape they take and the scenario of our encounter, in this case completely unguarded as it's a mass 
printed and mass circulated national papers, Sunday magazine. Um, all these elements, all these aspects, all these devices, it's a uh, orchestra that Jenny Hauser conducts, um, maneuver words as visual art and charge visual art with language. And the result is this message that we get not only with our literacy, but with all sensories. Um, that's all I <laughs> managed to put into words about Jenny Hauser's practice um, and the books that I mentioned will be linked to the description of this video um, although they are only a corner of her gigantic and intricate and potent practice including but not limited to printed materials um, and I just realized a very important difference between Jenny Hauser and Solowitz, uh, Adushi, the artist we talked about earlier, is that Jenny Hauser lives in real time. Um, not only she lives in a time as we do, but her works actively, intentionally respond to our time. Um, although, of course, not all artists work the same way and they shouldn't be, but as an audience, and as a reader, I do feel lucky to hear a voice, to hear an artist's voice on current issues besides media and social media. Mm. Um, thank you for spending this time with me. Maybe I will see you again. Take care. <laughs>